Hello to everyone, I'm Indurak, and today I'm playing more Faded in Light. You have no idea how happy I am to see you! I can't believe that my little Roku is safe! Oh, okay, right, yeah, I forgot. Like, Okay, I thought it was uh, Maya who uh, called me that, but I, I guess I'm being stupid. Okay. Wow, you haven't called me by that name in years. Y yes, but since, you know, I can't get punished for calling you that now, so might as well. You can call me mom too, mom now too. Dr. Violet, that's all in the past. I'm over it now. But there's nobody around to call us out on it. Please at least give it one try. I'm sorry, it's just too weird for me to call you that. I understand. Well, it can't be helped. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I mean, what with everything. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, can I ask a quick, quick question? Why are we on the roof? Wouldn't it be more logical to just leave the facility? That's what we've been telling Dr. Usher this whole time. However, he's just too stubborn to leave. Why? He believes that there's still a survivor somewhere in the facility. Okay. He wants to rescue as many... Okay, well, I mean, okay. He wants to rescue as many people as he can before we leave. Number four and him often go out... The, by themselves looking for people. Don't get me wrong, he has good intentions, but I have a feeling something might happen to us if we don't leave soon. Oh, sorry for ranting. Let's continue moving, shall we? I like how everyone just likes to stop and just, like, talk to me when we're going somewhere. This part of the roof used to be a very busy place. There used to be some secret storage units up here, but we emptied them out, and now we use them as rooms. Come this way. Someone wants to see you. Huh? What do you mean, someone? I was literally just about to say that, actually. <laughs> You'll see! Who could it be? This person that I'm going to see. She might still be a... Oh, she? <clears throat> I wonder who that could be. Just be quiet when you enter the room. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, you're... Code 15. Oh, six, it's you! Yay! She's alive! I actually, I actually thought she might have been dead for a while. Oh, 15? How are you alive? Number four found her dumped in a random room. What? Not killed for some reason! Miraculously, she was still... Oh, okay, she was in critical condition. Her legs were torn off and eaten by patient zero! I can't... I can't believe it. I'm so happy right now. Wait a minute. If your legs are torn off, how are you able to stand? Um, yeah. But these are my real legs. Actually, they're mechanical. Mechanical legs? Yes, Dr. Wickley made them for me. Did you know he used to work as an engineer here? Speaking of your legs, how are they? How have you been able to adapt to them? Have you been able to adapt to them yet? I'm working on getting used to them bit by bit. I see you're making good progress. It seems you're not going to be able to stay out without tripping over you now. Yeah, and soon I'll be able to walk normally again. That sounds wonderful. Hey, Dr. Violet. Are there any test subjects here except for us? I'm sorry to say this, but number four and some other guards only found two other test subjects. <clears throat> 016 and 002 are the only ones that they were able to find. I see. Hey, cheer up! I'm sure there's still somewhere out there. We just haven't looked hard enough. <coughs> yeah, I guess. But anyway, on a more important business. Roku, go talk to Dr. Usher. We don't have much time until we leave this facility. He'll explain all the details. I'll stay here with 015. I wonder if I should be calling her that, or if I should just say 015. I don't know if it... <laughs> I don't even know if it really matters. Okay, these invisible walls are ridiculous. Oh, okay. I've, I got a little concerned there. Hey, kid. Are you finally done with your little reunion? Yeah, I am, but Dr. Violet told me to look for you. Good. I came here looking for you because I got impatient. Because you're my patient. <laughs> Look, I've got some work for you to do, kid. 
work? But I just got here. You want to stay alive? Yes, of course. What kind of question is that? Then listen to me. The virus in your body is spreading faster than ever before. The only way to stop it indefinitely is to find the cure. But if you keep moving around constantly, you'll slow it down by a large margin. Wait. That's why you'll be running around the facility gathering supply. Okay. Not only are you agile, but you're also very brave. That's why you're the perfect fit for the job. I guess if it's going to slow down the spread of the virus, I'll do it. Good, let's get started. Plus, I'm the protagonist, so technically I'm kind of supposed to move around. Because otherwise there'd be pretty much no game. Alright. I forgot to see how many videos uh, I need to do. I wanted to record a... To actually record a week's worth of videos. Oh, more flashback? Well, this is the outside. Yes, this is it. Why is the grass white? In school, we learned that grass is green. It's white because the grass is covered by snow. Snow? What is that? Well, uh... Do you know what rain is? Oh, yeah. It's where water comes down from the sky. That's right. Snow is basically rain, but cooler. Whoa, that's awesome! How do you know all this? Mommy told me about it. She also said that snow is very da dangerous. It's very cold and unsafe to go outside when there's snow. Oh, that's what she meant. <clears throat> I mean, if you're dressed appropriately, it, you'll be fine. Oh, so that's why we can't go outside? Well, snow is beautiful. I'm pretty sure we can't go outside because we're just not allowed to go outside. It really is. <clears throat> I wonder if one day we'll be able to go outside and explore the world. You sure are optimistic. Well, Miss Maya told me to always stay positive. Yeah. She says similar th Oh, she says similar to the thing thing to me as well. I took her words to heart. I'll never forget them. What did she say to you? You wouldn't understand. Oh come on, don't be like that. I'm smart, I can figure it out. Well, I guess I'll tell you then. Oh, we don't get to hear it? Come on. Okay. Feel like you're ready, O6? Yeah, I think I am. Just remember, the walkie-talkie we gave you is very cheap. Try not to go too far from the main building. From the main building? What? Wait, am I going... Am I, like, going outside? Like, outside, outside? Or what? Dr. Wickley will be giving you instruction on what to do. Right, got it. Oh, and one more thing. Good luck out there. I hope it's not, I hope there's not going to be a thing where I actually have to move around a whole bunch. Oh, okay, I'm in the elevator. Okay. Oh, I really am just outside. Holy crap. Oh, six, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Great. We have established a, re a connection. Are you currently in the back of the facility? Not too much to... Not too much to look at, really. There's a lot of trees, but you should be able to move around just fine. Your first task will be to find the old storage unit. Do you know where it is? Of course I don't. I've never been here in my life. Duh. I don't even know why I asked. Look for a small wooden hut. It should be somewhere in your general area. Report back when you find it. Okay. I will. Oh, I have to... Harold Six, just so you know, I was highly against you taking this job. I mean, you just got here. I don't know what's wrong with Dr. Escher. It's fine, Dr. Wickley, really. I'm a test subject, remember? I used, I'm used i used to this kind of treatment. So please, don't worry about it. Uh, right. 
Okay, how far do I have to go to find this damn thing? <clears throat> I would think it would be somewhere close towards where the building is, so that's why I'm kind of going up. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> <gasps> I found an axe! Or it's a hatchet, whatever. What, what was that? Oh, no, it was just snow. Are you, okay, I have to keep going down then. They said not to go too far from the main building. How am I supposed to freaking... <sighs> I don't know. Or maybe it's... I don't know. <sighs> Screw it. Hey, Dr. Wickley? Yeah, this is Dr. Wickley speaking. Over. So, what's with this huge hole in the ground? Lieutenant 06... Ah, Lieutenant 06, you'll have... To be more specific, over... Okay, why are you doing that? Please don't ever call me that ever again. Copy that. Anyway, there's a big hole in the ground. I don't even know what else to describe it to you. How else to describe it to you? Not sure what you're talking about. There's a lot of random holes around the facility. Be careful not to fall into one. I guess I'll try my best. Roger that, private... Okay, can you not... Seriously. Why are you being such a child? Oh, I hope I don't run into patient zero. Oh, I found it. I found the hut. Nice work. So how do I get in? Just use the key I get. Oh, I forgot to give you the key. Fantastic. How am I supposed to get in now? Uh, well, you don't know, right? Yeah, no clue. Hey, you're smart, aren't you? Just come up with a clever way of entering. But please don't break down the door. Fine, give me a couple minutes. Okay. I thought I was supposed to break down the door. <laughs> um. What? what am, huh? Oh. Wait, do I have to... Uh, oh! Freaking Minecraft blocks I'm just pushing around. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm dumb. Ah. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Wait, what? I thought I... Huh? Oh, I'm gonna break through the window, aren't I? Well, at least I won't break through the door like the guy wanted me to not do. Did you just break the window? You said I couldn't break down the door, so... The window is the next logical step. Ugh, I don't know why we picked you for the job. Anyway, your first task is to find some benzene chloride. Find what now? Benzene chloride, otherwise known as hyamine. What? Hyamine? I don't know what the hell. In English, please. Find a small orange bottle. Okay, I'm on it. Orange bottle, where are you? Where are you, orange bottle? All the shelves are empty. Well, that's weird. There should have been a small hatch in the room. Oh, there it is. I'm pretty certain it's unlocked, so go check there. Okay. I didn't know what that was. I didn't know that was a hatch, so I kind of... Uh, I'm gonna run into some monsters, aren't I? The door is locked. There's nothing there except for a locked door. Uh, that's bizarre. I'll go ask Dr. Escher about it. I'm sure he knows something about this. Stay put until I come back. Are you serious? Oh! Ooh, this wall, part of the wall. I figured there was something about that. Um... Okay, I can I not do anything with it? Wait. Huh? Okay, uh, can I like use this thing? Hey. <laughs> I picked up a glass. Oh, 
Really? I didn't know I was supposed to do that. Oh, I have to use this on that? I cut the fake wall. Oh! Oh! Is that a generator? <clears throat> it's turned on for some reason. Now that I think about it, why is there even power here? That's a good question. Uh, wait a minute. There's a cord that lead. Okay, well, I guess I can't deal with that. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. So that's the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.